Hello everyone, it's Ashley from Railroad Fashion, and today I'm going to be doing my March favorites. Can you believe it's already April? Well, I'm really excited it is because I love the warmer and spring months, so I'm so excited that April's here. So, let me share all my favorites from March, and you will notice that most of them are very springy, and that is because I'm dying for warmer weather, and we're finally starting to get warmer weather, though it's still really cold still in the morning, so... Yeah, um, let me show you my favorites, and I'll have them by categories. Um, I'll do beauty, um, fashion, um, movies and TV shows, and then food. So, yeah. Alright, let's start with nail polishes. And the nail, I have three nail polishes for the month of March, for the month of March that I've been loving. First one is Revlon in Minted, and this is number 85. And this is where my last video, so I love that. Also, you've heard me mention this before, and it's the Tilly Nail Polish in Beach Babe. And it's just like this. Isn't the font adorable? Cutest packaging. Just like that. And the final one was sent to me in a swap from my friend in Canada. Her name is Becca, and she's Miss, Mo um, Miss Mousy Middleton, I think. And I'll have a link to her down below and it's the Essence Color and Go Nail Polish and it is in Modern Romance number 110. This is like the perfect nudie peach. So like and next we are going to do lipsticks and I have <laughs> five lipsticks to share with you. Yeah, I'm kind of addicted to the lipsticks now. Um, Let's go with the this one I featured before, and it's the Maybelline um, Color Whisper, and it's Maybelline New York, and it is in Rose of Attraction, and it's just a nice um, pinky color that is very natural, so I love this for those days where I don't want a bold lip. And then we'll stay with the pinks, and my other two pinks are Wet n Wilds. Um, the first one's like a nice, um, it's like a hot pink, but it's not too hot pink on. And it's Novia Pink, and it's number 511B. And it is just like that. Let me see. Yeah. I'll see if it's kind of hot pink. It's right there. But if you, you can put it on sheer or you can build the color. The next one is another um, Wet n Wild, and this one, um, Pink Ice, and its number is 528A. And this has some shimmer to it, and it's like a peachy pink, and it's right there, and this is what it looks like. So I've been loving this one. I've been really getting to Wet n Wild um, this month, you could say. And then I have two New York color lipsticks. The first one is in Sugar Plum and it's number 418. Just like that. And I've worn this a lot in my videos. And it's like a very mauve color. And it's right there. And the final one is in Sheer Red and it's in the bullet like tubing. And and I am wearing this lipstick today over a NYX um, lip liner in hot red. And that's where it is. Watch, it's right there. But I'm still wearing it. So those have been my favorite lipsticks for this month. For um, lip balms this month, I have two. One's a tinted one. And look, I got a baby lips. I know I mentioned... Um, one of them in the products I regret buying, but you guys recommend I try out their color ones. And I really wanted to try the cherry one, but my Ulta and Target were all out. But at Ulta, they had this new one that, um, just, I think it's limited edition or something. And it's in Melon Mania. And it's a green, and it's just like a pink. And... It's going on very, it's like a very light pink. You can hardly see it on my hand. But it's really pretty. I've been really liking this. I like wearing this. And 
the Starosa Attraction Color Whisper together, or I just like wearing this alone. It's very pretty. So yeah, I found a baby lips I like. And then of course, my always favorite is my EOS Sweet Mint Lip Balm that I love. So yeah, for non-lip products, it seems like my lip products are always the biggest part of my lip favorites. Okay. My favorite blush for this month, and I'm actually not wearing it today, it's the Balm um, Blush in Rat Boy. It's just like this, and it's a very natural pink, and I've been really loving this a lot. So this has pretty much been the only blush I've been wearing in March, so, yep, love this. And then my favorite... Um, eyeshadow palette for this month has been my Urban Decay Naked Basics, which I was able to get for a great deal, and I've been loving it. Let's see what I'm using. My favorite colors in the palette is Walk of Shame, Naked 2, and Faint. I've been loving these three together, so love those. I'm wearing Naked 2 and Faint today, along with some Elf in the Wet and Wild. Another thing I've been loving is creating my own palette with a V palette. So I just got this um, a couple weeks ago on eBay for a lot cheaper. Um, this is the, I think this is the Pro Z palette, and I got it for $14, $15. So it's much cheaper than buying it on the website. And I just have in here um, three of my Wet n Wild trios and a single my Wet n Wild. I have Walking on Eggshells, Knock on Wood, Sweet as Candy, and this is Cream Brulee. And then I have my um, Michael Marcus blush and then my NYX blush in Mocha. And I think this one, I can't remember the name of this one. Michael Marcus. That's really in there. In luxury. It's the Michael Marcus luxurious. So, yeah. Alright, my favorite uh, fashion items for this month are these earrings that I got off of Little Black Bag. These are adorable and so elegant, and I've been loving them. A lot that I had to stop myself from wearing them every day because I love them that much. They are adorable and so cute. So, love those. And then one of my favorite pairs of shoes are my Grey Converse. Uh, love these. They go with skirts, dresses, um, pants, jeans, everything. Just about. So, love these. Another pair of shoes I've been loving are my moccasin shoes from Pela Shoes. These are so cute and sort of have like that 40s or 50s school girl. Um, look like if she was like hiking or something. So, I love these. So cute. My favorite bag for this month has definitely been my new Red L bag from Kohl's that has the studs and the bows. So, Definitely have been loving this bag. And I've also been loving my jean jacket, but I don't have it with me today because my sister Gabrielle is borrowing it at work. And so I don't have to show you, but you know what my jean jacket looks like, so you don't need to see it. Alright, now it's time for my favorite movies and TV shows. And I have a number of them. So, and I have them written down. Actually, I have all my favorites written down. So, let me read them off to you so I don't forget any. Okay. First, we'll go with movies and then TV shows because that's how I have it listed. First movie, Letters to Julia. Ooh, love that movie. It is kind of like me in a movie. My, how, yeah, it's just lovely. The Amazing Spider-Man. Um, love that movie. Um, I cried at the end, and many of you recommended it to me in my giveaway video, which in my next video, I am announcing the winner to my giveaway, so stay tuned. Iron Man 1 and 2. 
Love the Iron Man series. Cannot wait for Iron Man 3 to come out in May. I will probably be going to see it in theaters because I don't know if I can wait for the DVD. So, love Iron Man. Monte Carlo um, came out a couple years ago. It was Selena Gomez, um, Leighton Meester, Catherine Tate, isn't it, too? And um, is it Kate Cassidy? Um, but, yeah. So if you like Doctor Who and you want to see Catherine Tate and something else, definitely watch it. Very cute movie, too. Um, I've also been in an Alfred Hitchcock. Um, mood, and I really like Saboteur, which was my new one that I saw in March. I also rewatched some of my other favorites I like, like The Man Who Knew Too Much, Rear Window, stuff like that. Okay, I also love the two um, Sandra D. Tammy movies. Um, they are Tammy Tell Me True and Tammy and the Doctor. Definitely really cute cute and sweet movies um if you like the first tammy movie tammy and the bachelor with debbie reynolds definitely check them out just forget about that movie when you watch the other two and actually watch each one as an individual movie and not as a series that's pretty much the only way you can enjoy the movies so yeah okay. check them out I have two tv shows um the first one is i am so excited that doctor who is back on tv Yay! And I'm also so excited that David Tennant and Billy Piper will be back for the 50th um, anniversary special in November 23rd. So I'm really excited for that. But yeah, I'm loving that Doctor Who is back. Even though technically it was on the last day of March. I can still be excited that Doctor Who's back. It still happened in March. But yeah, so definitely expect it in my April. And another new favorite is Once Upon a Time, which is an ABC TV show, which I have referenced the I like the fashion. Now I'm watching movie, watching the TV series, and I'm really liking it so far. So, yeah, there are some parts that I don't like, so I just sort of skip over. But overall, I really like. It. Now it's time for music. Okay. I have been loving this song, A Thousand Years, and I pretty much love a song every now and then. I have um, some music groups and artists that I have written down. Um, Owl City just love all of his music. Um, One Direction, um, Michael Bublé, and I'm so excited for his um, new album to be released next month, or actually this month now, this month. On the 22nd, I do believe it is. And Hunter Hayes, which is a country uh, music artist. And then a YouTube musician that I'm really liking this month is Alec Goot. So I'll have a link down to his channel down below that you should check out. Um, he does covers of different popular songs, so definitely check it out. Now it's time for food. Now, most of the food that I will be listening, listening, listing in this video are more junk food than healthy food. So, yeah. Okay, first one. Funny marshmallows. These are so goody. Um, they have them on clearance right now at Target. So definitely check them out. They're like 84 cents. I got two bags. I should have got more because I already almost ate one bag and I just bought them yesterday. So, yeah. Definitely take these out. These are so yummy and cute. And the marshmallows are in shape of little bunnies. So, love these. This is a new thing that I've discovered in March. And they are the Nestle Arrow um, candy bars. And it's in... It's a bubbly bar. And it's in mint. It's just like this. Um, I don't have the candy because... I already ate it all, and I bought a couple bars which so I would have one of my favorite videos, but I actually ate it. So yeah, but it's really good. Um, this is the only where you can find this in America is in specialty stores or grocery stores. They have a world international food section because this normally isn't 
sold in the state so definitely if you're in the state definitely try to hunt these down because they are amazing so love these and it's very really light and not like a heavy mint candy so definitely check these out the other food i've been loving is having chips and salsa um the salsa i love is from Trader Joe's and I don't remember which one but it's like in the taller bottle with a yellow lid and it's around about that and about that tall love that with just regular corn chips from Costco um, granola from Costco that I have been loving and it's pumpkin seed and flax seed in it and it's like I think organic and it's amazing if I we still have the box I'm not sure the whole family's been loving this granola and we've all been eating it like every day um even for not breakfast but snacks uh sunday nights for dinner and stuff so if i can resell the box i'll put the brand and official name for the granola down there so definitely check the link bar for the names of everything i mentioned and yeah, that is all of my favorites for the month of March. I hope y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and let me know what you have been loving this month, either in the comments below or leave it as a video response, and I'll have to check it out. So yeah, I hope to see y'all my next video. Um, subscribe, like, and favorite and check out um all my links down below where you can find me elsewhere i also blog on my blog um brambwoodfashion.com you should check that out if you haven't already i have a twitter instagram facebook tumblr pinterest i'm pretty much everywhere so yeah definitely check it all out and i'll see y'all in my next video bye everyone